So this is the start of the Zodiac Dream League. First play day, it's gonna be Ente facing AJK on Nomad Isles, and we're gonna start the game in three, two, one, go. I like that uh, professional comment. Absolutely proven from the story <laughs> I told in the beginning. <laughs> but let's not get into that any longer. Double scout from Ente. Something we see on bigger maps like Twisted Meadows all the time because he wants to harass as quickly as possible. And you can really do a great job harassing this mercenary camp because it's a very hard creep spot to take. Unfortunate for Enter that the Acolyte is scouting that way and not the Ghoul. The Ghoul could really annoy the Night Elf here. Acolyte, not so much. Yeah, I think uh, you made it pretty clear that Enter is your favorite in this match by by a large margin. I'm not so sure about that. You mentioned earlier that Night Elf is not his strongest matchup. And I think AJK got pretty strong in the recent weeks, so I, there, there's definitely a chance for him to win this. Um, it's of course always depending on maps and uh, how you perform on that particular day. But Nomad Isles, I guess, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty nice map for Night Elf because he can expand fairly easy. Did you agree to that? It's also really easy to get level 3 on the Demon Hunter if you are given the space. And that's always something you want to uh, get as quickly as possible. And normally Undeads will try to uh, disrupt this. By the way, the Ancient of War is taking a lot of damage. Last hit is going to go to the Night Elf. Very important. Panda of Energy. Terrible for the Demon Hunter. Very good for the Panda if he comes. And he's also going to lose the Ghoul maybe. Or he's going to be able to block him. Really well done. 3 HP save. And the Akai is going to get a Wisp kill. No! Detonate at the last second. But taking this creep camp is now very difficult for the Night Elf player and it's also costing a lot of resources. Two Wisps already detonated, plus the, lum uh, the resources it costs to repair, plus the Lumber he's not re harvesting because the Wisps are busy. So this is very expensive and I think he just denied the creep with an Ancient of War, now loses the Ancient of War, so this is terrible for AJK at the moment. Yeah, definitely. Let's see if and his switches to double crypt? No, he's attacking right now, but a lot of ghouls coming out of his base four at a time, and he produces a lot more, so he'll get this pressure up. Uh, AJK rebuilding his engine of war. It's, uh, of course, another resources he has to spend, and I don't think that was worth it for only level one and a half. I think the mercenary camp is not really uh, crept, and the green camp next to it is not finished either. So. Yeah, definitely. It was huge backfire for AJK. And look at his tech delay, man. He has, doesn't have enough lumber, still doesn't have enough lumber, and the under tech is already well on its way, and he doesn't really want to tech now because ghouls are coming. He only has one archer. There's no way of getting new archers. He may lose a lot of wisps here. He now has the resources to tech. He now has to decide, do I want to be greedy and tech? And yes, he does. If now he loses a lot of wisps, it's gonna be a very difficult mid-game for him. Ancient of War, the next one, is gonna get destroyed. Also, the Demon Hunter with not finding a good item here. It doesn't add anything to his damage output. And the Demon Hunter is basically the only bit of damage he has here. He's trying to go for the surround. Would be so important. Doesn't quite get it, though. Uh, it would be nice for the Immolation on level 2, right? Because uh, you have a lot of mana that you can spend on... on I wonder collection. why he even leveled Mana Burn, honestly. That bit of extra damage... Well, no, uh, no, it's a good choice. Because if he doesn't level Mana Burn, there's going to be Coil for the Death Knight. And that's... Uh, too strong, but yeah, he's got ma mercenaries now. Surround is close, but he's next to a moonwell, and there's quite a bit of damage output from the mercenaries, and he still has his TP. So at least two ghouls are gonna go down here. Doesn't keep the surround close. Bit of micro mistake there from Ente, and with those two mercenaries, he is actually gonna stabilize AJKs. I didn't even think about this. Without archers and without mercenaries, it would have been so hard. But with the berserkers, the trolls, I mean. He is going to stabilize here, losing quite a few ghouls, this Enter actually. Yeah, but the moon wheels are all dry now, and maybe he can focus down the Demon Hunter surround. Not close, because he has to micro away this ghoul. Demon Hunter down to 150 HP, keeping up the pressure. Last juice of the, of the moon wheels drained right now. But of course it's night, so it's at least regenerating a bit. Uh, nice dust use here, so this archer is probably going to go down. No, it's not. And now the DK it took a lot of hits and has to retreat sooner or later. I can't believe... AJK didn't le lose a single unit there. He had to cancel his Ancient of War, but no Wisp died and no Archer died. It's kind of crazy. Oh, Maybe he's now gonna lose the troll, but the goddamn region of the moon wells the Demon Hunter kills the Death Knight with a mana burn. Doesn't add much to his damage, right? 
Yeah, it's not much, but if it's in the right moment, it gets the kill. AJK oh, flipped the, tur uh, the, the, the table around here completely in this game. Yeah. Coming from a misery to, I don't know, cloud, cloud nine. <clears throat> Yeah, Enter had such. It looked so good for him, but he forgot about the mercenary camp, I guess, because with those mercenaries, that was the reason HK stabilized. I think maybe Enter should have just crept everything there is uh, outside the Nihil's base, and the Nihil can't come because only, because he only has a Demon Hunter and one Archer. If he comes, he's just gonna get surrounded, and TP. And if he comes again, he's gonna die. So I think he should have crept the mercenary camp. It f finished it because it's also all medium armor. It dies really quickly to ghouls. But I can definitely understand the idea they're going for the damage on the base because there was only one archer and no engine of war. Yeah. Tough decision to make in the end, it didn't work out. So, tier 2 finished by AJK, of course, uh, a little late here with the Huntress Hall because he had no time to set it up. In the meantime, Ant is taking to tier 3 already, got the graveyard for the first few fiends and the slaughterhouse for obsidian statues and later destroyers, but there's no fiend yet. Uh, that's kind of strange, I guess, but uh, yeah, now he's keeping the mercenary camp himself. He would be very lucky about the pendant of energy. Let's see if he gets the same item or not. At least he's able to level to level 3 uh, fairly quickly and easy. But the demon hunter is about to harass him here. Maybe get the last hit. No, he's too late for that. But it is... Doesn't have doesn't have boots. It's kind of dangerous. Oh, oh class. class plus 9. You don't want to give it to him! Oh my god! Big micro mistake! Oh, that hurt. Yeah, that he had hurt. lots and lots of skellies and they blocked him. Yeah, he wanted to get with a DK, but as you said, he was getting blocked by his own units. He should have microed them away. That's, uh, that's actually a big deal, man. Taking those away from the Lich and having it himself, that is quite the difference, believe me. So... Very good for AJK. Running around here without boots of speed, I don't understand this. This is just basically asking to get surrounded. If a Lich is here with a Nova, he's, he's uh, definitely surrounded and will have to TP. If Enter does it, right? So, level 3 for him, level 2, Death Coil, and the... In the meantime, the panda joined the fray of the night elf, creeping the laboratory, and is level two and a half already. Um, Scroll with the beast and ring of protection plus two for him. Not the best items, but he got lucky with the pendant of energy, so he won't complain about this, uh, the items, I guess. So lich is there, fiend is there, obsidian statue is there. He's waiting for the orb of corruption, and then uh, maybe try to get back in this game. He did get Ooh. surrounded here. The demon hunter did cost him a TP. That's just 300 gold and a bit of moon juice. But I say a bit, but his moon wells are actually dry. So TPing out that late was, in fact, a big mistake. He is now using the moonstone. Where are the first few bears? Only now coming, and I don't know if they have uh, adapt training yet. So this demon hunter is so vulnerable. Big mistake by AJK here. Getting surrounded, first of all, because of not having boots of speed, and then TPing so late. I guess he wanted to get the ghoul, but Enter did a good job there, keeping the surround closed. And he's getting an invisibility potion. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, here he is. Tippy Toe Demon Hunter. Maybe able to steal the big Gentian Sea Turtle. If Enter is really aware and the item gets stolen, he can reveal and surround and kill him. If he's really aware. Yeah. Uh, let's that's, see that's, that's if difficult. he unveils himself. If the item is gone, he, know, he sh could know it. But nope. he picks it up immediately, yeah. so the demon hunter doesn't reveal himself. And the XP went to the DK and the Lich as well. He got the orb finally, and uh, yeah, the first two bears with adept upgrade are here. Master upgrade coming, but it's cute, so he's wasting a little time on that one. Now, uh, solo creep for the Lich to get to level 2 or 3, of course. Destroyer upgrade is coming, so everything is set up for the first big fight in this uh, game, I guess. Naga as a third hero um, to add to the nice new king with Fork Lightning and slowing out some bath with the uh, Frost Arrow. Nice nice addition, nice synergies here with the third hero. But the panda is already level 3, so this is gonna be a big threat to the undead army. I'm really surprised he still doesn't have boots to speed because normally what you want to do as Night Elf is you creep panda until level 3, which he has reached, and then you annoy the shit out of the undead. You just run in with a demon hunter, and you mana burn, and you run away. You get Nova, of course, and slowed, but then you heal him up with rejuvenation. And normally they don't have a destroyer in the air yet. If he takes too much damage, you staff him out with a 
panda, and there should never be any risk of losing that demon hunter. You just should drain the mana over and over and over, but you do need the boots of speed for this. But he doesn't decide to do that at all, resulting in the undead having a lot of mana when the fight begins, and if you're doing it really well, that doesn't happen as a Night Elf player. And now he's attacking the main base without having an expansion behind this. Yeah. This is looking really weird. He got a nice timing because uh, Enter is creeping right now. The item, Potion of Restoration, one of the best items there is. So let's see uh, what the Night Elf is able to crush here. He's going for the Ziggurats uh, right away to crush the economy. But here comes the Undead, two destroyers in the air, melting uh, the bears with the with the Orb of Corruption, uh, the Orb of Annihilation, staffing out the bear, town portaling right away. He got rid of one cigarette, but the second survived, so I think this go wasn't that good for him. But he got the Tomb of Relics, though, so no Obsidian statues in the near future. I can't get any of them anyways, because he's supply stuck. Okay. But yeah, weird choice, and now there's the expansion. Yeah. If this weird expansion had timing, been one right? minute earlier, that would have made more sense, I feel. But anyways... He did quite a bit of damage back here to the Ziggurats, so something annoying you can do is get boots and a staff on the panda and go in there and Breath of Fire once, Breath of Fire twice, and probably <laughs> one, one or two Ziggurats are down. <laughs> oh my god, shit, Scroll this... of Restoration. Yeah, Scroll of Restoration, man. One of the best, best item in the game, if you yeah. guys don't know. And now the fight begins, basically perfect timing for the Undead having found those amazing items. First Scrolls of Healing counters the Breath of Fire. Nothing really has died yet for AJK, but now the first bear is going to fall. The army of Ante doesn't look to be that big. Mana burn now draining the last bit of mana on the DK. Sh potion of uh, Stroll of Restoration, excuse me, used. And suddenly mana again! And he still has a mana potion, so I think the Knight of uh, the Undead is going to take this fight with all the mana he has. DK now out, out of mana, but as I said, still two potions. The Lich! The Lich! He needs to... Get mana and coil doesn't do it, does it too late anyways. Gets the panda, however, in return. But that could have been avoided. He could have saved his lich and maybe even killed the panda. Whoa! Anyways, no gets the demon hunter still though with a potion of restoration. Jesus Christ, so many potions <laughs> and scrolls going off. Infinite mana basically for the undead. And that wins him the fight pretty much. Yeah, both Night Elf heroes down with the the usage of the scroll of restoration and of course the potion of uh, restoration but the expansion is kinda up of course AJK has to invest a lot now uh, rebuilding those two heroes he got the demon hunter back at the tavern the panda is not back yet and he's not building it back ah, okay he had some lumber problems here so he's completely out of resources right now um, because he had to b b b buy back the two heroes he has no Gold and no wood for units, and this expansion uh, didn't pay out so far. So big advantage for Enter in this situation here. He's rebuilding the Lich, of course. Um, he's still uh, still on 50 food, so he can bank a bit, I guess. Level four and a half uh, DK, level three and a half Naga. So his heroes are really, really strong right now. Big, big mistake by Enter not scouting the expansion there. His destroyer was basically like 1000 range away. He would have just needed to fly it over there, which takes like 5 seconds and even, you know, it's such a quick scout. That was definitely a mistake, not scouting that expo. He could have... I don't know if he could have cancelled it, but he should have been able to destroy it, because at that point, HK had 20 supply. So, if he comes back in this game, it's thanks to the expansion and it's thanks to Anton not scouting. I feel at least. The item and AJK luck. in return scouting very well. Uh, the item luck of uh, Ente is absolutely impressive. P potion of greater mana now uh, for him <laughs> as well. So he's coming up yeah, with an expansion of his own, but two dryads appearing and uh, try to take it down. Of course, the, the demon hunter will do his best to support them with that. But Ente tries. Oh my god, he could die. Demon hunter could die. No TP, no invul, no nothing. Oh boy. And, and he has okay, no water speed. There is no Naga though. Uh, no, no Lich though. Yeah, uh, Naga has no boots of speed. He can't catch up. Okay, Demon Hunter is gonna survive. Maybe he needs to slow with the DK. Oh, uh, at the shop, he needs to get it quick. Fog lightning! Oh my God! He, she already pushed, pulled her hand back to throw the fog lightning. 
Holy shit, that was so A close. split second saved the first hero of AJK here, the Knight of from Serbia, of course, but now it's level uh, 5 and 4, so level 3 coil, level 2 fork lightning available, and the Lich, of course, providing the level 2 Nova. Has a potion of mana for him now, still a potion of uh, the replenishment potion. So lots of mana on the undead heroes, which is, of course, always a good thing. Two bears are back. And the fray of AJK, more coming, uh, but still not at 50 food. Enter setting up his expansion once again because the Acolyte survived. And he's not. Okay, now he's pushing over 50 food, but not building anything at the moment. Still 0 0 upgrades, by the way, for the undead. 0 0 also for the Nile. Now fight ensues, but AJK's army is so tiny. He has two bears, two dryads, and two heroes. Two of everything. The 2 2 2 build, I guess. But yeah, he's, he's not gonna win this. No way in hell, why is he staying there? Get a TP, get the fuck out, get home! Too late, Panda dead. And the Druid is also gonna die. Staff should still have cooldown, I do believe. Coil is now ready, kills the bear, and... He still doesn't go for the throat, which is the Knight of main base. There was a potion of invulnerability and a potion of healing on the Demon Hunter. Nothing on the Panda. And Enter gets the third big red spot now with the stone token. Not the worst item, I guess. Not the best one, but definitely um, nothing to sell or throw away. I think away. it's amazing for the coil, uh, for the stun, excuse me. And it oh, yeah, the stun, of course. I forgot about it. Can't be dispelled because it's magic immune. The stupid thing about the Drake is it can be dispelled, but the token cannot. So, 544 heroes for Enter. This looks like. Uh, an Easy win for him so far, but of course don't forget about the expansion of AJK, the one of Enter is not up yet, uh, or it is up, but uh, no acolytes gathering gold from it so far, so uh, there is an economical advantage for the Night Elf player now, but of course he has to invest so much gold, rebuilding his heroes, rebuilding his army, building an engine of wind now, probably for Hippogriffs against the destroyers, but they are of course easily countered by uh, the Wisps. Book of the Dead now. If you get in a situation where no Wisp is nearby, that can make a little difference in the fight, especially with the piercing damage to the Dryads. Yep, definitely. I think in this game you can already see uh, Ente is like, yeah, I won this. He's kind of cocky. He's not caring about uh, stealing XP with his de Death Knight while creeping. He's just like, yeah, whatever, I'm lazy, you know? Just uh, one <laughs> group one, A click, and here we go. Yeah. He has the expansion up. It's pretty secure. He has towers. He has a necropolis there to TP to. He probably thinks that there's no expansion for the Night Elf. He is wrong, of course. But at this point in the game, despite this expansion having been up for such a long time, and has such a big advantage. One heal scroll. I think he should have more than those. And AJK attacking the main base again. I think he sometimes looks kind of clueless what to do. Like, why would you go into the main? Yeah, that was definitely a fault at the first uh, try. And now he's re retreating, knowing what to do. Uh, or not knowing what to do, because all the creep spots are crept already. Yeah, that's 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 true. So I guess if there's nothing to creep, what else the fuck are you gonna do? Yeah. Maybe just attack Amazing. the base to to keep him away yeah. from your base, you know, to have more time to build up your army. So I guess I shouldn't criticize him too much. I guess that move did make sense. Only has one staff though. I don't think that makes sense. Well, you gotta spend that gold on the potion of invisibility, for example. <laughs> Um, and not on Boots of Speed. Yeah. I think the biggest problem here for him is that Unnet always has full mana. Like, in this stage of the game, it's kind of difficult to run in with a Demon Hunter burn and run away. But when it's 50 supply versus 50 supply, I think that's such a big strength of the Night Elf. Just run in, mana burn, run out. Run in, mana burn, run out. If you get damaged, you staff or you reju or something. But he never did this. And then he got rolled. Of course, the items there at the top part of the map helped out enter a lot in that fight. As, uh, I mean, very, very, very much. But still, you but can't he, blame it all on that. He took the risk uh, to creep the creep spot, so it was uh, very well deserved to get those items. Book of the Dead summoned Breath of Fire into all the fiends, but the bears, man, they are just melting. Fork lightning, such a maze, such damage. And uh, yeah, you, you see the army of uh, AJK just fading away. The bears are all gone. Next Breath of Fire countered by a scroll of healing. 
And now it's time to focus on the heroes again. No chance for the panda. No, Steph. Okay, there is a chance. But now Town Portal on the Demon Hunter. So that's once again 350 gold spent on uh, saving your heroes. And the army is completely gone. And Ant is still on, I don't know, 75 food. And now yeah, when you when you get to fight against five five four heroes yeah. against undead with eighty supply, uh, yeah, it's a lot of damage. It's really bursty, so surviving against that not easy. And in late game scenarios, you probably need a lot of hippogriffs. Without them, it doesn't work. But only three at a time is not enough. Now he finally attacks his expansion, Drunken Haze, Breath of Fire coming in again. Doesn't really hurt too bad though. Now the stone token, the golem stuns. Coil Nova, where is it? No mana for Coil, maybe a Nova. Also no mana, but the Fork Lightning and the Focus will finish the job for the level 5 on the Lich. And AJK knows this game is over. Mana Potion and Coil for good measure and Enter takes the first game.